All right, guys, so this is the first update since we started this video. And uh, as you saw in the last time lapse, this is where we uh, stopped. This is where we are at right now. So as you saw, I used the, uh, just a quick, like, let's do a quick overview. <laughs> I, um, this is the only thing I use from the old table. I actually got the table that you saw in the beginning of the video, me destroying it. I got it from Craigslist for free. And I thought of using the other one, but then I got to the conclusion that I want to build my own because I never actually built a wood table in my life. So I just ended up using this plate since it's going to get covered by the, uh, by, all, by all the, uh, you know, cups either way. So it doesn't matter. And I just got some four by fours and, um, I don't know, they're one by fives, I think, or one by fours, I think, or one by threes, whatever those are. That's what I just cut up and muck it up so it looks somewhat decent. It's not gonna be perfect, but it's not meant to be. It's more of like a man cave style table, if you guys know what I mean. I mean, it's not like a showroom table, it's more like a man cave, I don't know, I guess. Like, it's just like a nice, something different kind of table. That's what I'm going for. I also got the, um, the, two by eights if i'm correct i think i think they're two by eights and uh, the idea was to make a second shelf right here i don't know i'm just not feeling it right now i don't think like i had the idea of how thick it's gonna look like it's gonna look good i'm not sure about it so i will not put the shelf i will not make the shelf yet i will see maybe when i'm done what it, how it's gonna look like and maybe then i will put the shelf i don't know but right now we're gonna stain it, the, stain the whole table. As I said, this part doesn't really matter because it's gonna get all covered either way. So we're never gonna be able to see this thing. But this is the uh, product I'm using. It's a custom color that I got mixed at Home Depot. By the way, I know this is way, way too much. This is a gallon, but I ended up getting a gallon for the price of a quart because they like she mixed it up wrong or something like this. and. And, uh, or she didn't understand me what I was saying that I need a cord and she thought I need a gallon, I guess. And, uh, she just gave me the whole gallon for the price of the cord. So that was pretty nice. It's the wood, the, I didn't even mix it up yet. The stain also, I don't even know what brand this is. Beaker premium waterproofing stain and sealer. Six years on decks, eight years on fences and siding, all weather protection. Well, that doesn't really matter to us. Well, as I mentioned, I've never actually used this product ever before. So uh, this is actually the first time I'm even opening since like she mixed it up for me at Home Depot. And it looks kind of gray, which kind of I'm not very happy about it right now because it's supposed to be black. But we will see once I stain it and then once it's dry, it's hopefully it turns, uh, hopefully it turns black or at least like really dark because it was supposed to be like a really dark grayish black almost. But uh yeah, so this is the quick update. As you guys see, this is the color, which I'm not very stoked about, to be honest with you right now, when I'm thinking about it. But all right, we are going to see how it's going to line up. As I said, I've never, ever used this product. So uh, hopefully it turns out have decent at least.
All right, guys, so it's official. The very last one is going on after many, many hours of suffering. I can finally happily finish this table. So three, oh my God, two, one. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, that took forever, but we still have to finish up the top. Alright guys, so this is it. We are finally done with the table. As you saw, it didn't come out the way I wanted to come out. I messed up on the plastic glass. I don't know if you was able to see it yesterday. I was really tired. I was gluing those stupid cups all day. And uh, on the plastic glass, I, it was my fault. I it cut, It was the first time I was cutting plastic glass and it kind of turned out like, eh, not too good. But I don't know. For the first table I've ever did from wood at least. Second table overall, but this is the first one I made with wood. I don't hate it. I mean, I don't love it, but I don't hate it. I don't know how well you can see around the edge. The plastic glass is not cut the right way. Those edges, all those are pretty decent. It's just this one right here that I messed up. It was the longest cut because I had to cut over there. And that's where I messed up a little bit. But besides that, I think it looks pretty cool. We're gonna take it off the dollies in a second and take a couple like slow-mo shots, I guess you can call them. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, it was an interesting project. I don't think I'll ever be doing one with wood again and with the cups, I don't think at least. I always wanted to build one of those, that's why I did build it. But it's not necessarily what I would uh, consider a fun project. I was like too like annoyed. I'm, I really have another project, I have some like stuff lying around the garage. For another project waiting for a couple more things to come in the mail and uh i'm way more excited for the other project than this i don't know i guess i'm not just a woodman i like to work with metal more than with wood and uh yeah so as i said i'm gonna do a couple more shots so you guys can see it a little bit better without me talking anymore so uh that's a really pretty long video i feel like so let's finish this video finally so if you guys enjoy it don't forget to give it a like subscribe stay tuned see you next time let me know in the comments what you think about the table uh if you would ask me if you should build one on your own if you have a little bit more skills working with plastic glass than me maybe i guess if not just save yourself a headache it's i mean it looks cool but i don't think it's worth the uh the hustle all right guys stay tuned see you next time